Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're gonna to learn how to play Come Together by the Beatles. So yeah, this one's a classic. I'm sure all you guys know, you know, what it sounds like. So it's just about following along, learning where to put your fingers. Uh, it's pretty easy too, and it's got even some harmony guitar lines in it. So it's a, it's a pretty fun one to learn. Great for like the upper beginner to uh, maybe lower intermediate player. All right, so uh, let's take a look at it here. I'm in standard tuning. I'm gonna switch to the neck pickup here for this uh, opening little main lick here, but it sounds like this. So we have obviously a, a little bass guitar line going on with it as well. Uh, so we're gonna start here with just a palm muted 10 twice at the on the low E string, so 10th fret. So you're, you're gonna be really barring across this 10th fret. So you hit that lowest 6th string twice, and then you're gonna hammer, you're gonna pick the 5th string, which is the bars playing, so it's gonna be the 10th fret on the 5th string. Hammer on to the 12th fret. And then hit the D and the G strings together. Let's just kind of repeat it. All right, so that's the main riff of the song. Pretty simple to play. Um, then now you're gonna wanna go into the verse here. So I'm gonna switch down to the uh, bridge pickup and we're just gonna play this. So this does require a little bit of a stretch, but other than that, it's pretty simple, very easy rhythm to play. So we're gonna start up here at the 10th fret. So the 10th fret on the low E, then the 12th fret on the A string. So it's just a little simple power chord. You're gonna play that, just palm muted down here, with two down strokes. Then reach up, and instead of playing the 12th fret on the um, A string, you're gonna play the 14th. So your little finger's gonna have to grab that. Play that twice, and then back to the 12th. So we have this. And keep repeating that. Then they take it, and that's the stretch gets a little bit bigger because we're going to take the same thing down to the fifth fret. Not quite as many times there. And then just down here to the third fret, a G power chord, which is just three on the low E and then five on the D and the uh, A string. All right, and then they're back to that main riff. All right, so we go back through the verse again. Um, the second time after the verse now, the tone gets a little bit more aggressive. Um, and then we have the chorus, which is a very short little riff, which sounds like this. And then back. So what's going on there? We're gonna start here. Now you'll hear, you'll see a lot of um, probably people play it or, or transcriptions of this, with just going from the B to the A, G, and back to the A. But I'm hearing it a little bit differently here. I hear it here as this B power chord. So you play that. So it's second fret on the A and fourth on the D and the G. Now, here's the thing. When we go to the A, just lift up the first finger, and you're gonna pick the open A with the fourth fret on the D, and then the open A with the open D string. And that's gonna let you come over and grab this G power chord that we played earlier. So it sounds like this. So 
So the G power chord, one, two, three, four, then move it up two frets, up to the A. So listen to the recording, I think you'll hear that. All right, it's not a straight B to um, A power chord. All right, so then we're back to that uh, main little riff or whatever. Now we have the first solo. Before I, sh uh, I really get to the first solo, which is a harmony solo, uh, the, I'll show you the rhythm guitar lines underneath it. So it's pretty simple. It's just very similar to the, uh, the verse where we're just doing it here, the 10th fret, that little kind of Chuck Berry-ish kind of bluesy thing we did earlier. This is really under the, the organ part of the solo. And then when it comes down here, the, the fifth fret, you hear the guitar lines start coming in. Now instead of going down to G, it goes back to repeat the, the main riff after the solo. All right, so let me show you the first solo, guitar solo now. Um, I'm gonna show you the high harmony part first. Let me play through it real quick. All right, pretty simple stuff. We're gonna start here with a bend at the 15th fret on the high E string. Holst that bend, then do it again a couple times. And that's, that second time there, you're gonna release the bend as well. So we have this. Opening bend, then two, down to 13, and then back to the bend again. Now we're gonna kinda of continue that same thing again. Except, now I'm going to come over for the second, instead of going back to 15 on the high E, it's a 15 on the B. So, so far we have this. Now from there we have this. That ends the solo, which is just two bends here at the 15th fret on the B string. Release that second one to 13th fret there, and then holst that bend at the 15th fret. All right, so now let me play the harmony part of that. Uh, it's just a little bit lower, so I'll play through it real quick. So it's going to follow those notes time exactly with the, the higher harmony part. The notes are just different. So let's learn those. We're at the 15th fret on the B string this time. Bend by itself and then two bends. Release that bend down to 13 and then back to the bend of the 15. Now I'm going to start the same way again. Now for this second ending, instead of jumping to the 15th and the, the B string bend, we're going to jump down to the 12th fret, holst that bend there on the G string. And to end it, we have this. So that's just two bends of the 12th fret on the G. Release that last bend, 10, and then 13 on the B string, bent, a whole step. All right, so now we have... Um, um, the last verse that comes out after out of that uh, first solo and I just want to show you because it's slightly different how he plays the rhythms so they're gonna be doing kind of combining the main riff with the verse chords so it looks like this so what I'm doing there is just that kind of just playing the verse just normal, so twice with the 10 and 12, twice with 10 and 14, back to twice with 10 and 12, and then you're just gonna do that little, the hammer, 10 to 12, into the uh, the two notes on the D and the G together. So you basically do the opening lick. So we have this. So it continues doing that for the entire time he's at the uh, 10th fret, and then when it comes down here, kind of normal and the same same ending as before 
All right, so all we have really to look at now is the outro solo, which is just one guitar, uh, but it's quite a bit longer. So let me uh, play through it real quick for you. Here we go. All right, so it's long, but it's it's really broken into little phrases. So that's how we're gonna learn it. Uh, it's a good way to learn it. So let's start here with the first bend. Was, uh, basically, that's the first phrase uh, at the 13th fret on the B string. All right, that's the beginning of it. Now the next phrase looks like this. All right, so he's doing a lot of vibrato in here. So make sure you try to make the notes sing. But this lick is two bends at the 13th fret on the high E. That second bend, I'm gonna release it. To 10 on the high E, to 13 on the B, whole step bend. All right, I'm gonna do a, couple, a few phrases then I'll, I'll, I'll kind of play them together. All right, so the next phrase is this. All right, so 10th fret on the G. Then we're gonna have a pre-bend here. So you're gonna pre-bend the 12th fret on the G a whole step, then release the bend. A little bit harder to do. Then the 10th fret there on the G, and a whole step bend at the 13th fret on the B string again, so we have this. All right, let's do another phrase here. Looks like this. All right, so that one's pretty simple. 10th fret on the high E. Then a whole step bend and release at the 13 on the high E. Back to 10. And the 13 on the B string. All right, so all of those ended with a bend on the at the 13th fret on the B string. So let me play from the beginning here. From there, we have this phrase. All right, so that's 10th fret on the B string. Then another pre-bend at the 13th fret. So you're gonna pre-bend a whole step on that 13 on the B string and release it. Back down to 10 and the 15th fret whole step bend. So. All right, next phrase. All right, so that's a couple of bends at the 15th fret there on the high E. Release the second one, down to 13, and then back the 15th fret, whole step bend. All right, so um, I'll just play what we have so far. All right, so now at this point, we kind of move up a little bit higher in register. And this next phrase looks like this. And we're actually gonna repeat this phrase one more time. So that was actually done twice. So that looks like 17th fret on the high E, whole step bend and release at the 20th fret on the high E, back down to 17, and the whole step at the uh, bend at the 20th fret again. 
So you repeat that all twice. Now we're over to the B string, 18th fret. So it's just the same licks we just did here, but except it's 18 and 20. So 18, then it bend at the, and release at the 20th fret, back to 18 and 20. Then we're down to the familiar lick from before, which is that little 10 on the G, pre-bend at the 12, back to 10, and then bend at the 13th fret on the B. And we're gonna end the solo here by just doing two bends on the a high E string, the 13th fret, release the second one, 10 on the high E, and then a bend at the 13th fret on the B string. And as it fades, I, I believe it's really hard to hear on my recording that they just kind of repeat that lick again. But it's almost inaudible, it's so low. All right, so I'm gonna start here. I'll just play it from the high uh, part here. And it's just so you can put that together. So here we go. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.